Description of Electrical Connections Power Supply Terminals Terminals 1, 2, 3 Power Supply These terminals are connected to the mains. Power line to provide the necessary voltage and current for the operation of the control, unit and its associated devices. Light control terminals. Terminals 4 or 5. Flashing light output. This output is used to connect a flashing light to mains voltage. The light is typically used as a warning, signal during the operation of automatic gates with a maximum power capacity of 40W. Terminal 67, courtesy light output, provides a clean contact output for connecting a courtesy light. This light can be used to illuminate the area when the gate is in operation, with a maximum current of 5A. Motor control terminals. Terminals 8 to 9, 10. Motor 1 control output. These terminals control the first motor, responsible for driving one side of the automatic gate or door. Terminals 11, 12, 13, motor 2 control output. These terminals manage the second motor, which controls the other side of a dual operated gate or door. Lock and auxiliary power terminals. Terminals 15, 16, electric lock output. Provides a 12V DC output for activating an electric lock mechanism. The lock can secure the gate or door when not in operation, with a maximum power of 25W. Terminal 1718, 24 VAC auxiliary power supply. Supplies 24V AC power for auxiliary devices such as sensors or relays. The output has a maximum capacity of 200 MA. Terminal 19, photo test output, provides a power supply to test photocells during operation. Known as the TX output, it supports a maximum current of 75 mm. Safety and common terminals. Terminal 20, common input, acts as the common ground for all input connections. Ensuring a unified reference point for the electrical system. Terminal 21, AC light output. Provides a 24V AC output for connecting an open gate indicator light, which signals when the gate is in the open position. Maximum power is limited to 2W. Terminal 22, stop input. Receives input for the stop function, halting the gate movement and triggering a short reverse run to ensure safety. Terminal 23, photo input, connects to safety devices, like photocells to detect obstacles and prevent accidents during gate operation. Terminal 24, photo 1 input, dedicated for an additional safety device, enhancing overall system protection. Terminal 25, step-by-step, -step, PP input, accepts cyclic movement commands for sequential operations. Open, stop, close, and stop. Useful for controlling the gate manually. Terminal 26, open input. Receives input for activating the opening function of the gate or door. Terminal 27, close input. Receives input for initiating the closing function of the gate or door. Radio receiver terminal. Terminal 28, Arial. Radio receiver aerial input connects to an external aerial for enhancing the range and performance of the radio receiver. Adjustments for control parameters. The control unit features various trimmers and settings to modify the behavior of the automatic gate system. Below is a detailed description of each adjustment. 1. Force adjustment, F. Purpose. Regulates the force applied by the motors during gate movement. Adjust this parameter carefully, as excessive force can compromise the safety of the system. Details. Fine-tuning should be performed through trial and error, 
Ensuring the applied force meets regulatory safety standards. Use a force gauge if necessary to measure compliance with safety requirements. 2. Balancing Maneuver Times, BAL Purpose differentiates the time required for opening and closing maneuvers. Details useful when the motor has different speeds in the two directions or when the gate leaves are offset during opening and closing. Adjust clockwise, OP, to increase opening time and ensure the deceleration starts at the correct position, e.g. 50 cm before the mechanical stop. Adjust counterclockwise, CL, to balance and extend closing times. When properly balanced, the opening and closing maneuvers will take equal time. 3. Working Time, TL1, TL2 Purpose Sets the maximum duration of the opening or closing maneuver for Motor 1, TL1, and Motor 2, TL2. Details Adjustments should be performed when the gate is fully closed. In systems with limit switches or stoppers, ensure these are configured to maximize the gate's range of motion. For fine-tuning, select Semi-Automatic Mode using Dip Switch 1 and adjust the trimmers until the motors stop at the correct position. If maximum trimmer adjustments are insufficient, use TLM1 and TLM2 jumpers to increase working time for the motors. When using the deceleration function via dip switch 8, configure the trimmers to trigger deceleration at approximately 50-70 cm before the opening-closing limit. 4. Opening and Closing Time Delay TRA and TRC. Purpose. Synchronizes the movement of dual gate leaves to prevent overlap during opening or closing. Details. Tray, opening time delay. Adjust this to ensure the second leaf starts moving after the first leaf has sufficiently progressed. TRC, closing time delay ensures that during closing, the first leaf completes its movement before the second leaf reaches its final position. 5. Pause Time, TP Purpose Sets the time interval between the end of the opening, maneuver and the beginning of the closing, maneuver in automatic mode. Details Adjust this parameter to provide an appropriate delay that allows users to pass through safely before the gate begins to close. Trimmer Usage Notes Trimmers should always be adjusted with precision to ensure proper operation of the system. Verify adjustments by running multiple test cycles to confirm functionality and safety compliance. If external conditions, like uneven ground or gate weight, cause irregularities, additional fine-tuning may be required.